I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soper. Today, I would like to share with you the prep work that I did before using the improvised PVC soap mold that my late father made for me. Before we start, I'd like to thank you for joining me again this week. If you are new here in my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my soap making videos, DIY tutorials, and a lot more. Soap making is my passion, so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. So, let's get started. For the materials, we have the PVC soap mold. We have the acetate film. We also need the marker, scissors, and alcohol swabs. I use the galvanized sheet to trace the circle in the acetate film. I only need one but to maximize the acetate film, I made three circles here. Cut the acetate film all the way straight and then roll it in and put it inside the PVC. I use the alcohol swab to remove the marker ink. And then I put the galvanized sheet on the cap. And then on top of that is the acetate film. Then we can close the PVC. And then I cut a few millimeters higher than the PVC mold.
Next is for us to know on how much is the capacity of the soap mold. So I went to my own calculator. You can visit it at www.mysoapcalc.com slash soap. And so the dimension is 15.5 for the height and 5.5 for the diameter. And then it will automatically calculate the capacity of your soap mold and will also give you an idea on how much oil do you need. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed what I shared, please leave a like and a comment below. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my latest upload. Until next time, bye bye and happy birthday to those who will be celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!